Okay, sorry, the camera timed out. I went over 10 minutes again. Um, but this is a continuation of Matthew 5, verse 43. So just to reiterate, uh, verse 43 says, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. And this is clearly not biblical because we just read that we are to love our enemies and do good for those that hate us in um, Exodus, um, you know, in the book of Exodus of, of the Torah. This is the divine word of God for us that has been revealed to us and has been preserved um, even to this very day. But verse 43, it says, you have heard that it was said you know, it was said, it was not, you, it does not say you have heard that it was written. It says you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. This is not a command from God. This is a man-made instruction that Jesus is referring to. And he's knocking the people who created this, this man-made law or instruction. And he corrects them and he says, instead, you know, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, which is biblical. This is scriptural. This is coming from Exodus 23, verses 4 and 5, and uh, also I think uh, in Deuteronomy somewhere, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Verse 48, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So, um, so going back to uh, Deuteronomy, I just want to follow up on uh, uh, or, I mean, uh, Exodus uh, uh, 23, 4 and 5. Um, let's see if there's a, yeah. Um, so that, uh, the cross-reference for that is uh, Deuteronomy 22, verse 4. And it says, if you see your brother's donkey or ox fallen on the road, you must not ignore it. Um, you must help him to lift it up. And... Um, so and I think, you know, like other translations, I think it's uh, King James. Um, you know, if you see the donkey of, of him that hateth thee lying under its burden and wouldest forbear to help him, or, you know, so you, and, you, and you don't want to help him, you shall surely help him. So, um, so hope that blesses you and, and uh, Shabbat Shalom and, and may the Lord bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name.